This video is brought to you by ATS Scholar. Here we look at a novel publication format through two articles and an editorial published in the journal. In the last decade, the demand for medical education content among healthcare professionals has increased. To meet this demand, we launched ATS Scholar, a journal dedicated to medical education. But for this, we had to look beyond traditional publication formats. This is where How I Teach comes in. A new genre of articles where skilled educators from around the world walk you through their approach to teaching topics in pulmonary, critical care, and sleep medicine. How I Teach articles provide a brief review of the topic, explain the author's preferred approach to providing instruction on the topic, and offer reasons for why that approach works the best. In effect, these articles enrich the readers with up-to-date knowledge, which can be passed to students, residents, fellows, and other learners. The latest issue of ATS Scholar contains our first two How I Teach articles. One of them outlines the effective methods to instruct trainees on the intensive care unit advanced concepts related to autopeep. Autopeep is a serious complication in mechanically ventilated patients caused by accumulation of air in the lungs due to incomplete expiration. In the article, the educators explain why they prefer to teach autopeep and related concepts in mechanical ventilation by asking trainees a series of manageable questions. Then they outline specific concepts that are helpful for better comprehension of the topic. For instance, to explain how we estimate the time required for a patient without developing autopeep, the authors recommend familiarizing learners with the concept of expiratory time constant, or tau. The expiratory time constant, the authors explain, represents the time that the lung requires to exhale until only about 37% of the initial volume of air remains in the lungs. To minimize the risk of autopeep, clinicians have to make sure that the patient's expiratory time is greater than three times the expiratory time constant. Thus, patients with longer expiratory time constant require more time to expire, which can be illustrated with a graph depicting the decay in air volume in the lung over time. Another How I Teach article in our latest issue presents a step-by-step -step approach to teaching ultrasound guided peripheral venous access. In this, to explain how to lightly grip the ultrasound probe, the authors recommend using the afternoon tea technique. To instruct trainees on accurate intravenous placement, the authors recommend dynamic needle tip positioning, or DNTP, a technique where the ultrasound probe is held in place near the needle's tip to facilitate insertion into the desired spot. Mastery over the DNTP technique can also help trainees guide the needle to the vessel accurately. Through our novel publishing format, readers benefit from specialized practical knowledge, while educators get a chance to share their experience with healthcare professionals globally. If you have a unique way to teach a medical topic or clinical skill, submit a How I Teach article now. Contact our editor-in-chief with questions about potential How I Teach submissions. For more information, please read the full articles and editorial, which can be found at atsjournals.org.